These first-time customers are checking out Woody's barbecue menu. In Prince Albert, uh, the, with the response what we have got is uh, overwhelming. Prince Albert is now home to the only Woody's barbecue franchise in Saskatchewan. So here we are smoking the pork collars. Owner and, uh, and chef Nikhil Kapahi says he saw so opportunity in the city. For, when me and uh, Dan was looking for a restaurant place, uh, we had two options, Saskatoon, Prince Albert. Uh, we, were seeking, we were looking for Saskatchewan. And Prince Albert was uh, one place we, did, we thought was lacking that restaurant and there was no southern barbecue chain here, so I thought it, this would be a good concept here. But there are even more choices on the way for consumers in Prince Albert. Uh, some of the ones that are up and coming would be, let's say, Mike's Steakhouse, uh, Montana's. Uh, so they have really kind of complemented the mix of restaurants that we have. The number of new businesses has grown. In 2011, 92 new commercial business licenses were issued. In 2012, 51. And in 2013, 68. The Chamber says the development of Cornerstone contributed to the increase. Definitely in the last even two, three years, we've seen a huge influx of businesses, um, kind of in a couple of segments. So one of the largest growth segments has been around uh, restaurants. A lot of them have been franchise or chain restaurants. The large trading area is also encouraging businesses to set up shop here. Prince Albert has always uh, enjoyed some very high retail levels and Prince Albert has actually broken records on a per capita basis. The Chamber says businesses are always looking for a way to do things faster. So I know that the city itself and council um, have been making efforts, I guess, to, to, to really realize the importance of business in our community and for them the importance of being adaptable and flexible to their needs. Uh, having said that, I mean, definitely there's room for growth as far as uh, further reduction of red tape um, to streamline the processes to make them quick. A burger set. But as for Woody's Barbecue, Kapahi says things fell into place. We never had any problem. I think it just went so smooth and uh, people have been very helpful, even the owner of the hotel has been very helpful for us to get licensed. The city hall, uh, we got uh, we got to meet the mayor once and then everything, yeah, everything would turn out very easy for us. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizzo.